is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are going to be getting into an opinion piece right here this is going to be an mdt opinion piece similar to what we did the other day with the buy or pass for the upcoming action figures that we should be getting soon some of these are going to be some that we're you know that are coming soon and some of these are not going to be ones that are coming relatively soon we actually have a couple older ones in here i think and we have like a couple other things to discuss about it and i'm just going to give you my own personal thoughts and opinions on this these are some figures that i personally would not purchase so these are going to be like i don't get every single thing you guys know that main elite figures i do get you know i get them in here and i do the reviews on the main elite line uh if i find figures outside that you know if i find them at retail i'm happy to do reviews of them as well but i don't grab every single thing you know i don't get everything shipped to my door you know first in hand i don't buy the full wave off the shelves i typically unless i'm really interested in the full wave i will leave two figures like i'm not just gonna buy the full legends wave if i don't want the full legends wave and typically I don't even get them in hand, you know, like I don't even find them most of the time I usually can only find one or two and if my boy John finds the full wave and I want the full wave I'll go ahead and grab them all but today we got some figures that you may not want to buy This is just gonna give you my own personal thoughts and opinions on these upcoming figures that I just would not personally buy for my collection Now again, I probably will end up getting some of these just for reviews and stuff like that But they are not ones that I'm going to ultimately search out go after with all my being and try to get them for my personal collection But I will get them to review for you guys and we will cover all those things so let's just go ahead and get into it shall we now starting out with a figure that i just would not buy guys and this is kind of an older figure but they just got it restocked this is just coming in restock i'm gonna go with the ringside exclusive bray wyatt this is the firefly funhouse version now you may want to add this simply for the puppet accessories which i would understand however i feel like you could probably search out some you, you might be able to find these accessories other elsewhere you know you may be able to hit some people up on instagram get some of your buddies that don't really care about these, you know, accessories and stuff like that, and you can search out these accessories on your own. So I, I would just avoid this figure. I think it was probably one of the most. It, it's one of the worst figures of last year. I know we're in 2021 now, but this figure just did get like a restock. So I would avoid this figure. I would go after the Elite 85 Bray Wyatt over this one. I think it's much better, and maybe we'll get, you know, it's just way more detailed. Or I would get the basic for like your display or whatever. I would not search out the Elite Ringside Exclusive Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt. I had to plug that in there because I saw that it is in stock. And I, I think the Elite 85 is even cheaper, and you get Huskus the Pig, so you get at least one of the puppets that's not even in the ringside exclusive, so there you go. Next up, guys, this one is kind of iffy, but I would totally understand it. It's going to be the top picks, the new top picks, Drew McIntyre. I think this is on pre-order right now. This may be one that you want to avoid. It's very similar to his other ones. It's not like Rey Mysterio. It's not like John Cena in this set. It is, uh, you know, it's one of those figures that's just a repainted skin tone. Now, that may be up in the air it may be a, a case where you're like i like this skin tone better and let me grab this now that i would totally understand you know if you don't like the smiling head sculpt on your elite 83 drew mcintyre you never got the elite 83 this is going to be a figure that's widely available so i'm just thinking like you could avoid this figure and grab something else new that you may want so that's the whole point behind this video i'm giving you alternatives so you know there may be other figures that you would like to purchase these are just some figures that you may, you may can save some money on by not adding collection and going elsewhere so i i I actually like this figure, and I'm probably going to grab it myself, but I'm thinking, you know, as a different collector, you know, there's so many different Drew McIntyres that we've gotten, and they're not a lot different, so you may want to avoid this one. Also, we have a Drew McIntyre, I think, coming in, like, Elite Series 89. I think we also have a Drew McIntyre coming in another way. I mean, the, the Drew McIntyres are getting popped out like every other set now, so this may be one that you also want to avoid. And if the skin tone doesn't bother you, then, you know, what, what else would be the point, you know? Speaking of this top picks wave, guys, the Roman Reigns. Now, this one is pretty apparent, right? This is the Top Picks Roman Reigns figure, and it is the exact same as his Elite 84 Roman Reigns. So, unless you just could not find the Elite 84 Roman Reigns, you would grab this one. But this is an exact replica of the other Roman Reigns, so you may want to avoid that. Again, you don't need two of this version. Unless you're like a crazy mock collector, I gotta have one in the Elite 84 packaging, one in the Top Talents packaging. You know, everybody's different. You know, people want to collect what they want to collect. But for the general consensus 
this. I'm just trying to give you some, you know, some collecting tips here on where you might could save some money and again buy another figure or save up for another figure that's maybe more rare or that you've been trying to add to your collection. So Elite 84 slash top picks Roman Reigns, uh, specifically the top picks, the Elite 84. I would understand if you grab that one. You know, you want to sell off some of your other Romans and stuff like that. That may be an option for you, but there is something else that you may want to do. Now coming up next, guys, we do have the Legends Big John Stud. Now this is an area where you can save some money. Now I know the head sculpt is slightly better and you get the cloth accessory, so maybe you would like to sell off your old four pack, your Hall of Fame four pack John Stud and get this one, which I would understand, but I would not own both of them. You know, I wouldn't keep one and get the other one again unless you're just a crazy completionist you know you just want both of them for sure do whatever you want it's your money use it how you need it it's my money and i need it now shout out to those that know that reference but this is a figure you may want to skip as well it's pretty much a re-release with the cloth accessory very genius level stuff you know the people that missed out on the first go around you add some stuff you tweak the head sculpt you're going to get some people that probably buy this one they already got your money the first time you know re-release this you buy this one you sell off your other one to the secondary market makes a lot of sense but it may be one that you want to skip out on and, you know, lock it down another figure in your collection or search out a different option for yourselves. The next option, guys, is going to be, I mean, this is probably pretty obvious, but the Elite 86 Fiend figure. Now, this is our third Elite Fiend, right? We got the, what was it? This is uh, just another Fiend figure, right? I mean, we have the Ultimate Edition. We have his other Elite. I want to say, don't we have another Elite? Like a Top Picks Elite or something like that? So this is just another Elite Fiend figure, which makes a lot of sense. It's going to sell really well, you know, on the shelf. I doubt that these stay on the shelves because people will be like, oh, snap the Fiend, and kids want to add the Fiend and stuff like that, so I understand that. But this is one of those figures, again, that is just a carbon copy, which, again, you can you can skip out on this figure. Unless, again, you're some crazy completionist, you could skip this figure, and you could add, you could use that 2025. I would wait for it for retail if you're going to get it. I wouldn't get it. Again, I'm, I would not get this. But again, if you missed out on the Blue Universal title, there's a lot of options on why you would get it. I'm just giving you, again, my own personal thoughts on the situation. I would skip it, save that 20 25 bucks, and put that towards something else. Another figure that you're really wanting. Another figure that you could search out. There's plenty of other things that you purchase, and there, there are certain areas that you could look around in your collection and save some money. I may make a whole other video on that topic. If you guys would like to see that, where you can save money in your collection and cut corners, per se, let me know down in the comment section below. But another figure here, guys is going to be the elite 86 Miz figure now we discussed this a little bit in the buyer pass video I think we discussed a little bit of these in the buyer pass but the Elite 86 Miz is is pretty much a re-release of the Elite 37 Miz. Of course, he does have the glasses and the headband and the white, you know, coat and everything, but the coat is rubber. I When I first saw it, I thought it was going to be a cloth accessory. It is not a cloth accessory, so you may want to skip out on this one. The Elite 37 was pretty much this figure. Again, there are some bonuses here and there, like the, like the interchangeable hands and stuff like that, but this is a repaint of the Elite 69 Miz. Now, in this case, this is one that I actually probably would search out because it's in white gear and I love white gear and you guys know the idea behind that however I think that the red version is also an option that is you know it's it's kind of superior in some aspects so you may want to go with the red version the elite 69 miss I don't know how much that goes for again if you missed out on all these figures the first go around this entire video is kind of irrelevant because you know you, you just you, you missed them so you want to grab them anyway I'm just trying to help some people out there that maybe want to save a little bit of money. Now, if we get into the AEW figures, this is where it gets kind of hectic a little bit because you have the AEW Unrivaled 1B figures coming out. So, if I were you, I this is how I would play it, alright? If you guys grabbed Series 1A and you really want to keep those, keep those and don't worry about it. If you've already switched to skin tones, don't worry about it. If you just want the updates because, you know, you, you, you want to update the figures and the skin tones and you want both versions, go for it. But as far as I'm concerned, if you already have Series 1 Brandy, you don't need Series 2 Brandy. You can save your money there, buy something else, unless, again, you just really, really want it. Again, with the Young Bucks, if you want the updated skin tones, buy these and sell your first version. So, I also think that if you were to pre-order these, maybe you want to pre-order your Series B figures. And then, once you get them in hand, go ahead and sell your Series 1. Because I think the Series 1 actually goes for more right now on eBay and places like that. So, they're like going for 35 40 45 loose. So, they're actually cheaper on ringside. You use the promo code MDTOYS, you could get the full wave of Series 1 for like... 
150 bucks, something like that, and then you wouldn't have to worry about your Series 1. You could get the full set in here, and then when your Series B arrives with the updated skin tones and the better accuracy, things like that, you could sell off your whole set together and make your money back right there, maybe, or buy other things you want. So there's just a lot of stuff going on right there. It's, it's kind of a hectic situation because, you know, you're a collector, you want to collect all the versions, you may have already updated, so you don't care about the 1B. A lot of people I've talked to don't even want the 1B, so you may want to just skip out on the full wave if you already have Series 1A or you've already updated them, things like that, like we discussed already, so that's a whole thing in itself. And then as a little prize bonus here, uh, the Jurassic Express 2-pack where they have like a boy and his dinosaur variant. If you don't care about variants and stuff, you know, where the where Jungle Boy has Luchasaurus on his shoulders, you could skip out on that as well, and I would just stick to the regular version for the extra $5, especially if you're going to be cracking them out of the packaging. This is a total, you know, a total skip. I saw a lot of people kind of complaining about that, like pretty upset that they would even do that, so I don't know what happened there. I'd like to get the variant and keep it mock, but I don't know. I'd like to have a set loose, a set mock, and then the other set mock, but we'll see about that. Who the hell, you know, I don't, I don't know. I'll I might pre-order that when the time comes or something like that, but I have another video idea in my skull that I'm thinking about doing where, uh, you know, I talk about the tips and tricks where you can, like, save money in your collection and cut corners and kind of update stuff like that while saving money and all that. If you guys are interested in that, please let me know down in the comment section below. But I think that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I would uh, miss out on some of these figures, and you guys can let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about all of that. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Let's get into our random shout-out before we get out of here. If you guys missed my top five things I love about figure collecting yesterday, definitely go check that out. That was kind of a different video that I haven't seen. But getting into our random shout-out, guys, it's going to go to Sean3114, who says, We are not a community. We are a family. And I thought that was pretty good. Talking about yesterday's video, again, if you guys missed that definitely go check that out we are a wwe figure community and family brad we're a community and a family but he says we're not a community we are a family so huge shout out to sean 3114 for that but that does it for today's video guys thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and you guys already know the deal if you buy some of these figures from this video well you cross the line i've been beat